Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to go through my Yeti daily drivers. These are the Yetis I use each and every day. We're gonna go through each one, talk about features and benefits, the things I like and I don't like. We're gonna do a temperature test. First up, we've got the Rambler Stackable Mug. This is the 10 ounce, 295 milliliter version. It also comes in a larger 14 ounce version. This is the perfect cup for me for my daily morning cup of coffee. It's double wall insulated, so it's gonna keep your drink warm for a long time. It's got the nice big handle here, which fits my big mitts. I can appreciate that. The lid is the mag slide lid. This is Yeti's famous lid. It's got a nice rubber gasket around the outside for a nice tight seal around the rim. And then it's got the mag slide top here, which you open to have a drink and close to help keep your drink warm even longer. As I said, these cups are stackable, which is nice when you have a bunch of them. They stack away nicely in the cupboard. They're dishwasher safe, which is really good for around the home. You can toss them in there, no problem. And they are splash resistant. You're not gonna get any coffee on you doing this. But if you turn it upside down, you are gonna get a little bit of leakage. Next up is the Rambler Tumbler. This is the 591 mil. This is my road tripping coffee cup. It's double wall insulated, so it's built to keep your drink warm if it's coffee, cold if it's something else and has ice in it. This is my go-to Yeti for road trips. It is the Rambler Tumbler, and it comes in this size and a variety of other sizes, depending on how much you want to take with you on your road trip. Next up is the classic Rambler 532 milliliter water bottle with the chug cap. I mean, this is the one that rides on the side of my desk almost all the time, but it also goes in the backpack and comes with us on adventures outside. It's double wall insulated again, so it's gonna keep your hots hot, your colds cold. It's got this chug cap, which comes off really easy, has a great opening for easy drinking. It goes on with a nice spin, locks in nice and tight, and this one is 100% leak proof. And finally, we've got the Yonder water bottle. This is the 750 mil edition. It also comes in a one liter and a 1.5 liter. This is a nice lightweight version of this. This is about 50% lighter when it's empty. So if you're hiking or throwing it in your backpack, this is usually a good option because of that. It is 100% leak proof, so you're never gonna get any water coming out of this as long as everything's done up properly. It is made of 100% BPA-free plastic. It's also made with 50% recycled plastic, including the lid. The lid comes off in two pieces, comes off like that to drink or like that to refill. This also comes with a tethered cap option. The other thing about this Yonder and this Rambler bottle are they're both compatible with the Yeti bottle sling. The only drawback to this bottle, I'd have to say, is that it's not insulated. If it's a hot day and you've got this in the car, it's not going to do a great job of keeping your liquid cold. Like all Yeti products, it's super durable and it's going to stand up to a lot of abuse. Now for the temperature test. We started with the Yeti Yonder and the Yeti Rambler bottle with tap water. After 30 minutes, the Yonder was at 15 degrees and the Rambler was still down below 13. After 45 minutes, the Yonder was at 16, the Rambler at 14. And after one hour, the Yonder was at 17 and the Rambler was just below 15. And so after 60 minutes in a room temperature room, there was about a two degree difference between the Yonder and the Rambler bottle. Now for a hot coffee test in the Yeti Rambler mug, 10 ounce, and a regular coffee cup. After 15 minutes, the coffee cup coffee was at 65 degrees. The Rambler had it just below 75. And after 30 minutes, the regular coffee cup was just below 56, and the Rambler mug had the coffee at a toasty 72.8. No surprise here, the Rambler mug kept coffee hotter a lot longer than a regular mug. Clear winner. Two degrees out. And finally, an outdoor hot liquid test. We had hot water at 90 degrees, and we filled a brand name insulated cup, a free swag bag insulated cup, and the two Yetis, the 10 ounce Rambler mug and the Rambler tumbler. After 15 minutes, the tumbler had the water at 83.7, the mug at 80.2, the generic cup at 83.8, and the other brand name cup at 82.2. We fished a little longer and then after 30 minutes, the tumbler was at 79, the mug had dropped down to 74.8, 
The generic Tumblr was holding strong at 79.3, and the other brand name Tumblr was at 77. After 45 minutes, the Rambler Tumblr had the water at 74, the mug at 68, the generic Tumblr at 73, and the other brand name one at 71. And after one full hour, the Rambler Tumblr kept the hot water at 71.3, the mug at 65 even, the generic Tumblr at 71.1, and the other brand name Tumblr at 68.9. Now, the Rambler mug had less liquid in the others, so that accounts for its quicker drop in temperature. But I was surprised. The Contigo and the No Name did pretty good against the Rambler Tumbler. Now, if you're a heavily caffeinated person and you want to see all the Yeti coffee products at once, you're going to want to watch this video right here, Yeti vs. Coffee. Click it to watch it. But subscribe first.